Hey, Jules. Hey, how's it going? Good. Hey, you guys are the only team that's going to be playing the third time in five days on Monday. How have you guys gone about preserving uh, your bodies for this? Coach talked about uh, getting an ice bath up there for, for Jaime. Uh, did he, were you guys actually able to do that? How have you guys kind of uh, gone about uh, staying rested uh, right now? Um, just um, with our athletic trainer, Shane, um, you know, he has a whole lot of gadgets and stuff that help us, like um, Norma Tech and Game Ready. So just put it on your legs and, um, you know, let let the devices do the work. But, um, you know, just stretching and then, and then trying to get as much rest as we can whenever we have uh, time to, um, you know. But it's, I think, uh, I think just the excitement of just being in the tournament um, sort of pushes us past that, that sort of tired fatigue. So, yeah. Uh, Abilene Christian turnovers, uh, they, they lead the nation and 27% of opponents' possessions end in turnovers. Uh, I'm sure that's going to be a big emphasis going into the game. How do you go about taking care of the ball against an opponent that's able to do at that level? Um, well, yeah, we, we, we know they're, uh, they're a great team at forcing turnovers. We have to uh, be poised and, and, and be strong with the ball. Um, you know, we watched a little bit of the game last night and, you know, I, I feel like they, uh, when, when their defense is ramped up, they, they sort of forced the other team to, you know, um, sort of rush. So I feel like we have to take our time as, as much as possible, boys, and, and especially be strong with the ball. Adam Grossbard, go ahead. Jules, with these quick turnarounds, how much preparation can you do for a team that you may not have watched as much in the regular season? Like how much does it, how much preparation do you do compared to a regular season game? Well, you know, in, in regular, in our regular season, we have, you know, about three or so days to, to prepare, you know, once we, uh, once we play, and then, you know, we have we have the weekend and then like, you know, normally we play Thursday, Saturday. So um, we have those we have Sunday, Monday and uh, Tuesday, Wednesday to, you know, sort of prepare. So, um, you know, comparing that to this, you know, it's it's definitely different. But, you know, I feel like our coaches are, are doing a great job. You know, I'm, I'm sure uh, some of them are going overtime and you know, losing a little bit of sleep, you know, watching film, especially for um, for teams that, you know, we're not as familiar with. But, you know, you know, they, they watch the film. And then when we get in practice, we, we have to focus up as much as possible and try to get as much done, you know, focusing on, on our opponent, on our opponent. So um, it's it's different, but, you know, it's it's part of a it's part of tournament play. Last night, especially in the first half, it seemed like you guys were having a lot of fun with each other, just, you know, celebrating after shots, dapping up after deflections and things like that. Like, what is the energy that this team is playing with right now? Uh, we have a great, a, a great dynamic going on. Um, you know, we all, we all love each other. You know, we all love to see each other succeed. Um, so we're just, you know, and we're excited to be here. You know, we're excited to uh, have the opportunity to keep playing basketball, play the sport that we love. And, you know, when you have fun with it, it, it makes the it makes the games even better. So um, in, in an environment like this, I feel like especially since we have a, a few fans, too, that sort of helps, um, you know, it's it, it sort of amps the energy up a little bit. And, you know, we, we feed off the fans and then we feed off um, big plays that we make, defensive plays that we make, um, big shots or you know, like Jaime's dunk, you know, it, it sort of gets us going. So it was a lot of fun. Tracy. Hey, Jules. Uh, against BYU, when they started denying uh, Johnny the ball, did, did Coach Cronin tell you, tell you all that you had to step up or did you guys just kind of know that you needed to compensate for that? I mean, well, I mean, we all just like, I mean, we all know that whoever whoever gets hot the other team is is going to try to stop them. But you know, I feel like we're just flowing from the beginning of the game. Um, you know, 
we were all contributing in different ways. And then once they started denying Jaime, some, some other people had to step up too. Um, but, you know, it's just, it's just part of our team. We have different weapons. And when, uh, when a team tries to take one away, then, then uh, you know, some other people step up and, and make big plays as well. I lost most most of that, but but that's okay. Hey, uh, really quick, the the four game losing streak. How much do you think that contributed to toughening you guys up for the Sensei tournament? Um, well, you know the the losing streak, the four game losing streak was definitely tough because we knew that um, you know in each game we're a few minutes away from you know turning the tides and and having having us be on top. So, you know, as much as we were, you know, 0-4, we, we felt like we could have been 4-0. So, you know, it, it sort of hurt, but we, we realized the, the small things that made us lose those games, the, the, um, the situations and, and mistakes that we made um, throughout the whole game. And a lot of it revolved around being tough. So um, we just had to come into this tournament knowing that, you know, we have to give it our all each and every game and play as tough as possible because, you know, it's, it's you know, play a winner go home. So, um, yeah, that's that's a big, big reason. Sam, go ahead. Hey, Jules. So uh, you were talking about how you guys have your good team chemistry, how you guys have fun. I saw the video of Chris last night uh, putting your name up on the board again. How fun is that moment in particular and how fun is it being Chris Smith, being the one to do it, I said, all you guys taking videos and getting kind of hyped in the hotel. What's that like, that moment? Yeah, it's 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 extremely fun. Um, I'm extreme, it's very gratifying, and, and to see uh, Chris Smith, um, you know, you know, enjoying it as well, it, it means a lot because we know, obviously, how how the season ended for him is is, is heartbreaking, but um, you know, he's been great just supporting us as a team and being there, you know. Um, uh, mentally and, and even physically, just just um, talking to us and and encouraging us. So, um, just to see him happy and and, and um, you know slap that uh, UCLA onto the board, it means a lot to our team. And then uh, you said that you guys were watching the the Texas game a little bit last night. Were you watching live, like right as your game is over? Like how, how did that work? You guys like crowding around on phones and stuff? Uh, we had. Um, well, we came into the locker room and we, uh, you know, did our little spiel after after the game. But they had actually had a, a TV in the, in the locker room, so um, one of the uh, they they uh, connected one of the computers up and streamed it live on, onto the TV. So that's how we watched it. All right, let's finish up here with Ben. Uh, I want to ask about something I've noticed. It seems like in the pregame huddles, David Singleton's always in the middle of everything. You guys sometimes kind of bounce him around. It seems like he's he's saying something always, getting you guys ready for games. What is is that a tradition? Who started that? And what does he what does he say? And what does it mean for him to do that? Um, you know, normally it's, it's, it, it it differs every game, but um, all it is is you know we're we're just uh, getting ready for the game, getting hyped for the game. You know, he's a He's a big time hype man and uh, he gets us ready for the game, gets our energy pumping. And then, um, you know, I, th I feel like right before the game, when we get our juices flowing and we're excited to play, I feel like uh, that helps us a lot. And, um, you know, he's <laughs> he's a great hype man. And uh, we we um, enjoy doing his uh, little pregame pre -game rituals. So, yeah. Is there anything he says that's out to you? Uh, no, just, I mean, it's different. Every, 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 every game's different. It's just, you know, hype stuff, just play hard, play with, play with passion, play with heart and, and, you know, let's go out here and do our thing, something along those lines. And, uh, um, that's about it, but it, it definitely, uh, definitely gets us hype for the game.